Was your child born under the night of the dark moon? No. The morning after. Hi guys, welcome back to Wako's Review. The only reviewer that has given away a car before. <laughs> So if you want to win a car, subscribe and turn on post notifications. Oh, and I was lying, I never gave away a car. I gave away two cars. Like this video and roll it through. After making the first video talking about why you should watch Riona, I got some feedback about some things that I missed. And because I'm the best reviewer in the world, I had to correct those mistakes. So I said the king has plenty wives and I was wrong. He has four wives. And that's actually very good because kings in this era had way too many wives. So I love and respect his decision to only have four wives. With two concubines. He's still a player, man. He's still a player. In episode two of Riona, it continued from where we left off. Our king totally confused on what he should do next. And this voodoo chick giving him little to no help. And to think that's her only job. And we already know that he has plans. And even though his plans are evil, he feels justified that maybe the gods told him about the dark moon so he will kill all the babies to an average joe you would say that's dumb but to the elite smart people like me that's a perfectly reasonable reason to kill <laughs> but death is not the only thing on his mind his wife no no this one will fair in case you're confused because he has four <laughs> and two concubines and one guy that really needs to be his best friend because he finds him very awesome for having four wives and so concubines. The guy is a Wako's review. <laughs> Mofe is still scared that one of his wives plus concubines, let's not forget those people, will take her life. And I think she's not wrong because the way those ladies keep talking, pot, 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 she's totally not far from the truth. But I have faith that she can outrun them. <laughs> she can outrun all of them. <laughs> like this i don't know why why should you like that the king then does this meeting with his chief men and tells them about the dark moon but he also left out the most important information which is he'll be killed by a child that was born on that day and the main reason he did not tell them all was because i'm mean, like let me guess one of them will probably say killing innocent babies is bad and that's not what he wants to hear at this point but he told his closest friend and nothing about this man screams good so as the king is still figuring out ways to stay alive the rebels from the reale who are gingered by this man named dewa are trying to reclaim their village but for this dewa guy he's this hot-headed character that is so passionate about freeing his people and this is not a bad thing but for him he is somewhat too passionate he literally thinks of no backup plan he's the type of guy that will start fighting someone and halfway into the fight he forgets the main reason he was fighting this person. Man, let me go. Man, let me go. Man, let me go. For episode 2 of Riona, we saw a switch in the attention as more characters came out of the woodworks. To be honest, I never really understood that phrase. I just used it so I would sound smart for you guys. Hey, I hope you are. Hey! <laughs> We have Jolomi, who is this wayward guy that is used to playing tricks on people. He actually gave this guy a potion to help him do the do. You understand? And it did not work. Let's just say everything fell flat. Where is that my laugh effect? Wait, chill first. Let me get it. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get it. Okay. I found it. Alright, cool. Let's just say everything fell flat. <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> I'm still a funny guy. Tonaro was introduced as this liar. He lied to this chick called Akugo that he is rich and also part of the royal family just because she's one of those ladies that are easily influenced by wealth. You know what they say, if the truth will make you broke, lie to her. That always works. Prince, I hope all of you are taking notes. It is part of the statement actually. <laughs> but his plans will go to waste after her brothers beat him up and then banish the girl, just like that. <laughs> I wish I could banish my sister now, man. Damn, man. The few things I'm looking forward to are the rebels. I would love to see how the Iriale take back their land. And I would also love to see who is actually bearing the child that would kill the king. Let me know like guys, with all seriousness, the king doesn't seem bad to me. I feel their gods cost it. Let me explain. Why give him an information if you do not want him to act on it? Think about it. What would you do? So yeah, those are the things I'm looking forward to. Comment down below what you think, what are your expectations, 
all of those things. And guys, I'm watching this local drama every day at 8 p.m. on Africa Magic Channel 151. Go and watch it so you won't be lost whenever I drop another review. Duh. <laughs> and what was that running stance, man? Teach me.